good people and welcome to another video. This video will be a mini tutorial answering a question I've been asked so many times. This question is, how do I make a custom profile pic on Scratch? Now most of you already know how, and if you do then you can click off of this video right now. But if you are just starting out and you don't know how, then make sure to stick around because there are a lot of helpful tips in this video. The first thing you're going to want to do is make a new project, like I have done here. And then after you've done that, you're going to want to animate the animated profile pic that you want as your profile. Alright, so as you can see here, I animated my what I want to be my profile pic. I'm not actually going to change it because I'm, I'm satisfied with my profile pic, but this is mainly just for an example. This is what my profile pic would look like if I follow through with this tutorial. So you can see it's really smooth sliding across the screen and honestly that looks pretty cool. So the next step that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the costumes that made this going to be profile pic and then you're going to want to go through every single costume and once you're in one of the costumes you're going to want to right click your mouse on top of this screen. And once you've done that, you're going to want to do save image as. You're going to want to do this for every single costume. Because once you've saved all the images, you're going to put them into a GIF maker, and then you'll make your GIF. So right now, I'm going to save all the images, and then once I've done that, I will get back to you guys. Alright, now that you've downloaded all of your images, now you're going to want to go to a nice website that is called gifmaker.me. And once you've gotten there, you're going to find this upload images button. You're going to want to click this. Once you've clicked upload images, then you'll see something that looks about like this. A trick to selecting a group of images quicker is to select the top image and then shift click the bottom image. And as you can see, it's all selected. And the next thing you're going to want to do is click open. Of course, this process may be a little different for Windows, but generally I think it is the same idea. Next, over here to the right, you can see that we have a little bit of settings right here. And one thing I would suggest is setting the animation speed down a lot, because as you can see, this is extremely choppy. Alright, I think 85 milliseconds will work perfect for this GIF. And once everything is ready, by the way, you can uh, switch you can switch places of costumes by just dragging them over the other. Once you're ready, you're just going to want to scroll down to where it says Create GIF Animation. And then you're going to want to click on this, and then you're going to want to wait a little bit. And the next thing you're going to want to click is Download the GIF. And then after that, you're going to want to go to your profile and then once you're at your profile you're going to want to hover over your icon and then as you can see it says change you're going to want to click on that and then it opens this up and then you're going to want to search for the webp.net and then as you can see it's right down here you're going to want to upload it to this so once you click open then it will be your profile pic. Congratulations, you made an animated profile pic. I'm proud of you. Of course, there is a file size limit. You can't have too many costumes in your animation to make it your profile pic. It has to be a limited amount of costumes. As you can see, my profile pic was like a looping animated one, so it looks like it's a long animation even though it's only a few costumes. And that is going to wrap up this mini tutorial. If you guys did find it helpful, then make sure to like the video, subscribe to stay tuned for videos similar to this one in the future, and also don't forget to check out my Sunday streams at 9 a.m. Pacific time. And I will see you guys later. Peace!